Hello students, today we are going to do a book review on elements of physics. This is quite an old book and you can see from its condition, it is very old and a rare book and it has cost rupees around 3 and 4. You can see over here, the book name is called as element of physics and the main author is by Robert Andrew Milken. He is the Nobel Prize winner in the physics and here you can see the name of the company is also printed that is Gene and Company and it is very old book and it starts with the prefix as all books are having and later on you will find your contents are there and these are the contents which are used in our uh, 11th class of physics as well as in the 12th class like here you can see the chapters are arranged like measurements is there, pressure in liquid, pressure in air, molecular motion, force and motion, molecular forces, work and mechanical energy, thermometry, work and heat energy, change of state and transference of heat. Then there is 12 class topics are there like magnetism, static electricity, electricity in motion, induced current, nature and transmission of sound, properties of musical sounds, nature and propagation of light, image formation, color phenomenon, invisible radiation. Then there are also portraits of some scientists and machinery and then we will see that we start with the first chapter and that is called as the measurement so this is chapter number one and here you can see the whole chapter has been arranged in the paragraph wise that is first paragraph introduction paragraph number two and then you will find that uh, here the next page which we are having that is this paragraph number three paragraph number four five and so on and this chapter starts with paragraph and here you will find the paragraph number here 16 so this way this is the first chapter and it ends at paragraph number 16 and then there is a summary over here then you will find in the last there is a summary over here there is questions and problems which this first chapter is having and then when you go to chapter number 2 the unique thing about this is that okay, chapter number 2 never starts from the paragraph like 1 over here okay directly it starts with the continuity that is paragraph number 17 which is showing the definition of pressure and then there is a continuity to chap paragraph number 18 19 and so on and this it continues and here you will find the as usual the all the topics of the hydrostatic pressure has been explained and then there is a portrait over here of some machinery and this way here the scientist portrait is also there of Blaise Pascal who is involved with the invention of the hydraulic press machine and same way here Pascal's law definition is given and then as you can see now again we have reached up to this paragraph number 24 so here uh, these chapters are arranged in the paragraph wise and there is a continuity over here and as usual this is a very old and a rare book and it is explaining the physics as much as possible without using equations it's hardly any equations are there and it is trying to explain each and every topic over here and you will find it is a very wonderful book at an elementary level to be read now we have reached up to here the press chapter number 3 where the chapters are written in the Roman numeral form and here you will find that each chapter like continuity of passages is there which where we have reached up to passage number 34, 35 and so on and here you will find now we have come here to this uh, passage number 44 so here there is a continuity of passages there that is a passage number 45 compressibility of air 46 and so on these paragraphs are there on the left side you will find that the author's uh, scientist portraits are there this way the whole book is just uh, arranged in the paragraph form and it is trying to explain the much as physics without any equation 
and uh, there are portraits of scientists as well as a portrait of machine and now here we can see now we have reached up to the chapter number four chapter number four on uh, it is the molecular motion and instead of the passage like as usual in our uh, new test books like 4.1 4.2 the here you can see the passage is having a continuity form over here and on the right side there is a portrait of albert einstein and then here on the left side again there is a portrait of james clerk maxwell and this way so on it goes on and here you find we have reached up to the passage number 70 so this is a passage number 70 over here and you will find that this is chapter number 5 which we have reached that is force and motion and then this way the chapter's continuity is there and again there are portraits in between of the scientist that is joseph henry and this way the when we come to our last chapter that is here you can see now we have reached up to here the passage number 478 which is having the topic that is spectra and then you will find here also some portraits of the scientist is given uh, this is the last chapter that is invisible radiation that is 503 passage and you have uh, finding that we have come up to page number 478 and the last passage which is there that is of 512 practical value of physics it talks about the practical value of physics then there is appendix in the appendix you will find there are problems which are covering the whole syllabus of the physics which is covered in this book and it is a very wonderful book to be read to make the concepts clear and then there is an index over here so you will find it is a very old book very very old book it is and the last page which we have reached over here that is that is 509 the total you will find that is 509 pages are there in the book it is very old and very antique book.